Let's get a compression. Compression test on this dog. And she's, she's compressing. Ooh, the stiffest PW80 you'll ever see. About to be a PW140. It's the 140 motor time for the PW. The 80's too small, so we gotta get bigger. All right, right now we're making motor mounts. All right. <laughs> so, we messed it up the first time. Owen messed it up the first time. <laughs> so the front sprocket doesn't match up with the rear. Why? Because they're off by like half an inch. So, rather than take off these old mounts that were custom and new with these new triangle ones that I just made and they look freaking sweet right here. Custom and new. <laughs> yes. Okay, and then we're gonna put it on, weld it. It's gonna look pretty sweet if you ask me. What? Not you. All right. So we're going to do that. Then once we're done doing that, we'll put a battery maybe in, in that whole area. So that'd be pretty fun. Yeah. Until next time. So we just got this new thing. A nice combination sander. <laughs> so instead of using... Where are they? The files in taking three years. This maybe takes two minutes per mount. Now they're all nice and rounded so nobody hurts themselves. Oh yeah. Real nice. This please sponsor us. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Originally, as you may be able to see. The frame is not straight anymore because of this goddamn carb. These manufacturers don't know what the heck these things are going into, so they're just going to have to deal with it. I don't know what any of that means. All right. So we got a lift, lifan, lafon, something from China. But their carburetors are stupid in how they're mounted. So what we had to do was cut part of the frame out and basically weld in a new custom stronger piece because Yamaha is weak you know not to bag on them or at all so once we mount in those the new frame yeah <laughs> oh yeah also we put a new spring in from a crotch rocket so now it's a cross rocket too. And that means it's gonna go really fast, hopefully. But the 140 is gonna have a clutch, unlike the PW80s. So this thing's gonna be a wheelie machine and go at least 69 miles an hour, no matter what, with three people on it, doing wheelies backwards. All right, so now I'm gonna be Possibly drilling the holes so we can actually mount the motor to the new mounts. Hopefully, this will end up being straight. If not, it'll be fine. We'll make it make it work. But yeah, this new mount is going to be a lot stronger because triangles are always smart, always stronger. Think of bridges, you know. So we're going to do that. I'm going to have to grind grind off all this paint. Hopefully, hopefully get the the paint all off and be able to grind what all right but I mean these welds are fantastic it sucks that I have to take them off but it's for the greater good you know for stronger for stronger braces and mounts it's just looking sick from this angle wow 
Yeah. You need to get your cutting wheel, cut this bracket off. And then you need to get switch blades and then grind this all down so we can weld to it. All right. So I just go ahead and just all the way. All the way. But it's like, you got to get a weld all the way across. Jesus. <laughs> like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's perfect. Oh, yeah. And we really did good. Yeah. that time lapse was about was just grinding down and getting that old mount off so we can fit this new mount on right now we're still fitting up the mount seeing how it's going to fit because we still need to move the motor over about half inch or so so the sprockets actually line up so we don't die when we're riding so now that turbo well it's brandon <laughs> So, this is all somewhat grinded down. I still got a little more to go. Once I get that done, we can just weld it right on and start ripping. All right, guys. Here's the before. Yeah, turn around, turn around, turn around. All right, all right. And here's the after. Oh my God, it looks so good with all those holes. Just, yes. Dude, this looks sweet. Some change in pace here. Well, we got we got the PW140 mounted up. Looks pretty cool right now. Yeah, I oh, the off, off. God <laughs> dang it. I guess I gotta talk louder. As I was saying, we're sorting out the sprocket situation. So what we did to make sure there's tension was we did this little thingy right here. And Bill, Bill Schneider, brought in his mini bike and he's putting on new pegs. Pretty cool, huh? They're from a cross rocket. See you next time.